lost um, Jody Miller this morning. And uh, just let's take a moment of silence and just lift her family up to prayers. And, and uh, she's going to be sorely missed. Blessings from as many of our volunteer and our paid fire chief that I could. Um, they have their portion. I have a news release. I have one for you, a press release. That way you guys can disperse it, and I don't have to worry about getting to you guys also. So um, there are state codes, I see codes. Anybody wants to know or needs to know, you can get a hold of me, and I can tell you where to find all those and or tell you what they are. Um, I spent most of the afternoon taking care of that. So. Fire department is it. So if one of your fire departments goes and responds to your bird ban, it's what they say and that's what goes. Um, so don't get in arguments with them. The city and the county will back our fire departments up on what they say happens and what they say goes. Um, you may get questioned, and I'm just going to tell you real quick in the um, paperwork that the commissioners will be signing, everybody knows that. The big bonfire for Rochester School homecoming is this Friday. Um, that's already been addressed with TJ. He's already TJ, the fire chief here in Rochester. Um, he was already planning on going and completely surrounding and supervising that. So that is our only, only bonfire exception. Um, we all know the Trail of Courage. Um, what do they do out there? They cook. They use fire. So. What state code says, just so everybody knows, you can handle it when that next door neighbor says, well, da 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 da. State code says at Trail of Courage, they'll be cooking most of the time on their fires. They can cook. They can have a fire, it needs to be covered, and they can cook. So that's it. You know, other than that, everybody else is shh. So we're, we're a prime tender out there in our fields right now. So other than that, AMA's, uh, our typical regular meeting says we're going on. I'm just tired today. So. <laughs> um, I've been around the state of Indiana and Chicago all in three days. So um, I will be gone next week. I put in travel. I don't know if you guys get that all together. I will be out of the office. Good thing is I have 20 great volunteers, and um, I will be still be on first response. I'll be in class, still in the state, and I'll be first response by phone, and then I will go from there. That's next week, and then I have a week also in October that I have class for. So, that's that, guys. One question. Um, the, the, the end of the bird ban decided by TJ, is that who it is, Fire Chief? No, it'll, well, it'll be a conglomeration, and National Weather Service, like right now, when I go back to the office and, and post out, I will send out um, where we're at as far as the National Weather Service and what they're saying. You know and where they put us I, don't be surprised if we don't go under like a state northern region 
It's just we're jumping your rule. And we're saying, okay, ours is in place. But who, who makes the call in Fulton County that the burden ban it goes away? I would go with National Weather Service, period. I, I, as far as me or TJ or you guys, we'll just, we'll come to you and say, okay, this is what National Weather Service is saying. I'll bring it to you guys. I'll call TJ, I'll call the other volunteer fire chiefs and make sure that everybody's in agreement. So that's what I did today. Yeah, uh, you'll be the, okay. you okay. will be the final, final okay. lifted I, fan. I, did, I just thought it should be the fire chief. That's, that's yeah, what I yeah. thought. Um, so the commissioners have the final say. And I did, um, I did tag Trent in this also, you know, so. Good. But you guys are the final say, final say. Okay. okay. You say, Dawn, it's still too dry. and. You okay. perceive me and TJ and everybody, so. Okay, all right. Yep. Don, next one. Real quick, do you happen to know what the penalty is for someone that burns during this? Well, she got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in there. Oh, it's not in there. Uh, no, the ice, the Indiana IC codes are in your 300 series. So if you go to your 300 series, you'll find those, and there's a couple of those in there. Um, but I would say whatever, at that point, once that it's enforced, then we'll have to go through and look what the code is. I'm sure it's a, a monetary penalty. So. Just curious. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay. But the high school can still have their bonfire, right? Yes. Yes. Where were you at? We'll see. <laughs> well, it was six o'clock when I sat down. <laughs> Yes. And you'd yes. already been halfway through your spiel, so. TJ's gonna, he's already, and that's the only exception is the school's wildfire. You started by the official clock, though, Stephen, at 6 o'clock, okay? So just okay. say, just, mine, RTC's mine was said 6 o'clock. Android time, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all, all right. Right here. Okay, I've got this uh, uh, countywide bird band on September 16, 2024, whereas Fulton County has been had, has had dry conditions and warm and dry weather is anticipated to continue for several weeks as of September 16, 2024, and whereas grass fields fires have occurred due to the weather conditions and whereas fire and emergency personnel as well as Fulton County commissioners agree that open burning will increase the risk of injuries and property caused by fires that can be initiated by open burning and whereas a Fulton County applied burn ban affecting certain activities is an appropriate public safety response for the fire hazards presented by the current weather conditions. Now therefore we, the Fulton County Board of Commissioners declare pursuant to the provisions of IFC 307.1.1 that a burn ban shall be issued in the county and that we hereby invoke and declare those portions of Indiana code which are applicable to the conditions and that have caused uh, issuance of this declaration to be in full force and effect in the county for the exercise of all necessary emergency authorized personnel, emergency authority for protection of the lives and property of the people of Fulton County. We also declare that effective immediately the following activities are prohibited in Fulton County. Open burning of any kind using conventional fuel, such as wood or other combustible material with the exception of grills, fueled by charcoal, briquettes, or propane. Charcoal from permitted grill should not be removed from the grills until the coals have been thoroughly extinguished. Two, the burning of debris such as timber vegetation, including debris that results from building construction activities. Reference <coughs> is hereby made to all appropriate law, statutes, ordinances, and resolutions, and particularly into section 307.1.1 of the Indiana Fire Code. All public offices and employees of Fulton County are hereby directed to exercise the utmost diligence in the discharge of duties required of them for the duration of the emergency and in the execution of emergency laws, regulations, and directives, whether state or local. All residents are called upon and directed to comply with necessary emergency measures to cooperate with the public officials and disaster services forces executing emergency operations plans and to obey and comply with the lawful directions of properly identified officers. This burn ban shall be in effect until further notice. And that also comes with the two exceptions of the school uh, bonfire and this trail of courage, which falls under other laws. And so, okay. Any questions on that? 
Entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Motion carries 3 0. So then we have uh, Mr. Two Minute Lane, Steve Williams. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to check an Android phone out. Under official time. Yeah. They started early. That clock's fast. Thank you, Steve. My clock's fast. My computer says one and my phone says the other. It's three minutes to us. Continue, Steve. Thanks, sir. So I just wanted to come and follow up with you in reference to the ARP funds that the fairgrounds have received. And we have exceeded our fund limit um, so you know, that's a good thing um, and I have copies for all of you in for the uh, auditor's office as well and we will be sending a finalized digital copy to the auditor's office by the end of the month so um, but if you happen to go during the fair this year or if you happen to go two weekends ago to the track pool you would have saw the grandstands are finalized um, with an exception of the uh, south end of the, the grandstands, there's a fence that still has to be put up. Um, but that's finalized. All the other projects on the fairgrounds uh, that were referenced to in the ARP funds are finalized. Um, and we did get the final bill for the PA system that was upgraded in throughout all the uh, animal barns. Um, that was a sizable project, more than what we were anticipating. But we were able to, uh, to financially accomplish that through this fund. Um, so that's pretty much all I was wanting to address as far as the, the ARP. Uh, there are other projects that we are looking at. Um, we do have a sizable amount of money that was raised several years ago to go towards a possible uh, building upgrade or replacement. And we have changed gears and we're talking about one particular project to use that money for and hopefully we can use that money actually as uh, uh, oh what's the word I'm trying to look for uh, at least for start uh, some type of start a match a match, match. funds um, to apply towards uh, so that we could use this project for year round use uh, that's what we're aiming for so um, but as far as the board, everybody's happy. We are down uh, as far as board members, uh, but we are looking for. Uh, I would prefer to have weak minds and strong backs, but <laughs> if anybody is interested in joining the fair board, uh, we're, we'll take applications. Good. So uh, we have plenty of minds and plenty of ideas for now. <laughs> but you guys have any questions for me? I do. I just appreciate all you guys have done out there. Yeah, it looks good. a lot out there. It's or did track the pole went last week or whenever it was, was it a great success? Yeah, two weekends ago, um, my brother did not finalize the, the numbers as far as kind of the admission part, but we were guessing 16 to 1,800 people. Cool. Great. So between the two sessions and all the pollers and their family and that. Um, I was. I actually talked to him this morning about it, and he was saying that he had people staying in the motels, our local motels, yes. and not the economy. Yep. So, so that that's great. We appreciate yep. it. Yep. Um, and there was even with the, the four food vendors that we had there, um, they ran out. Two of them ran out twice of food, and we saw a lot of carry in uh, <laughs> coming as well. So. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was a good success for the first year, and there's already on the books uh, for next year as well. So great, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Anyways, if you have any other questions, just ask away. So okay, thank you, thank you, Steve. Yep, for sure. You want to copy of this? Okay, awesome. we have department updates. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you, Steve. Appreciate <clears throat> Brittany Thompson, EMA. It's been a long day, too. I feel your pain. I feel your pain.
Oh, good evening. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I really don't have anything, mostly because I don't know what to present and what not to hear. <laughs> so, anyways, first full week was fantastic. Um, everything went great. We had a dispatcher whose grandfather passed away, so we worked our way and navigated through um, some time off issues. Um, so week two hasn't started off too great, but um, we have the resources, thanks to the sheriff's department, to extend. Um, some support to the dispatchers if they need it due to the loss of Jody. Um, I canceled um, the class that I was supposed to go to this week. I just didn't feel like the timing was right with being new at the center. I felt like being at the center was where I should be right now, so we'll possibly reschedule that when they offer that again. Let's see. I do have a paper that needs to sign. I don't think it's anything formal. It's just there's a program called Insight that dispatchers have access to and typically I would sign that for whom I hire but I can't sign it for myself so they just told me that um, one of the commissioners needs to sign it so it's nothing nothing major I don't even know now it's the time but um, aside from that uh, I guess in the future if you have things that I should be sharing would that be helpful and otherwise um, we've We've been doing great. When you get into a little more, yeah. we'll listen to your sure. reports and when you get some numbers for the month and okay. stuff like that. But, but for right now, you just concentrate on All right. Get your feet yeah, training is train going good. Uh, a lot of things I'm doing myself. I don't specifically have a checklist, you know, to do. So I've been going through old emails trying to figure out who maybe I should contact and who I should. Yeah. So yeah. aside from that. Barry was in here just a little bit ago. We had a few minute conversation. He said he'd been doing interviews. Yes, yeah, so we did interviews to get your staff up to full, full speed. So that's a good thing. And yes. Got some policies to write and some yeah. stuff like that. But yep, yeah, we have our work cut out for us, kind of starting fresh and starting new, and just going to build from the ground up. And looking forward to building relationships and doing good things. Sounds good. Great. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you, Thank you. Real quick, I'll expand just a little bit. Brittany and I attended a lunch on last Friday for Kiwana for their festival coming up in two weeks. And uh, Brittany's jumped right in on a lot of the actual different functions in the community too. So um, we'll be helping cover that. They're actually, I don't know if you're very familiar with, but they expanded to Thursday evening also. So they're going Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, is that next week? Yeah. Not this weekend, as Trail of Courage is the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and then EMA's obviously interacting with that too. And then we go right into Chili Cook-Off. So that'll be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, yeah, they've actually opened it up for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And Thursday evening, <coughs> Thursday evening, Thursday evening. Yeah. And Sunday, right? Yeah, it's Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, this is the this car show, I believe. Yeah. Oh, so it's four day. Four days. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. In the car show Sunday? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure it is. Good news. Yeah, Parade Saturday. So. John Highway. Good evening, John. Good evening. Hey, John. How are you, gentlemen? Good. Okay. <laughs> Got a few things for you. Um, I don't have any permits tonight. Wow. So that's yeah, that is unusual. Mm -hmm. Last few we've had quite a few. Um, guys have been patching holes, running the brush cutter. Uh, we finished pugging. Uh, today they did go up on 700 North. Rick will know where this is. West Richland Center. There was a bad spot for everybody leveled that up. Yeah, that was getting bad. People to get the real real bad. Somebody want to wreck there. Yeah. I'm glad um, you fixed that. I was aiming to tell you that, but I forgot it. Beat you to it. Good deal. Thank you, John. <laughs> uh, we bumped ground bumps off of uh, Old 31 North last so week. So much better. Yes, thank you. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of phone calls on that, yeah. thanking us for doing that. Uh, tomorrow, they're going to stripe it. Good. So, uh, got that going on. And then uh, we're going to start uh, running the apps field machine here pretty soon, shouldering the uh, Community crossing roads, okay. uh, and then um, we've been we started bio sealing today. So the bio restore down on the community crossing roads that were done last year. So, so working out real well. I mean, is that like yeah? Good? We're we're seeing, and I think John will agree. We're seeing a, an extension on the good. pavement life good. by applying that. Good deal. So, uh, I think it's I think it's well worth the the small investment that's in it. Yeah. Good. 
Um, so uh, last week, or I guess it's been two weeks now, September 5th, we had the final inspection uh, for Old 31 South. Uh, Dave was there. Uh, I think everything went good. Everything on the checklist was uh, come out accordingly. I do have a letter that needs to be signed by the three of you uh, confirming that you're satisfied so we can close that out. I guess why should you two get satisfied? Yeah. Did you get satisfied? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, Entertain motion to approve the Indian Department of Transportation report the contract for final specs and recommendation for acceptance of contract R-4197. So moved. Second. All in favor? Motion carries through. I think I talked about the community crossings projects, but uh, Brooks has been paving. They've got 900 west paved and striped. They got 600 north paved. I think they're on 400 north now, and they plan to wrap it up by the weekend. Mm -hmm. So going through Bruce and Lake Bruce uh, into the week. Just to throw in a comment on about repaving, I've had more people saying thank you for Fletcher's Lake. There was that one little spot oh, right there yeah. at the lake, and man, it was rough and moist out. Yeah. I've had a lot of people say, boy, sure glad to get that done. Yeah. Yeah, they had a little bit left over, and they finished up there. That was, I knew it was much appreciated. Yeah. And we thought that would be a good spot to do. It was. Well, uh, big bang for... <laughs> Got a lot of, for not much stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, um, on the buildings, uh, Work has uh, begun on the shop out there. <coughs> Insulated that. They've got, uh, I'd probably say, half of, of the siding on. It really looks nice. Yeah. That building is looking like a new one. Granted, it's not. It, it's, I think it's a few more years on it. Yeah, I think it was a good investment. Uh, the Kiwana Salt building that I asked for permission to roof, uh, that's completed. It's done. You've got that done. Yeah. So. Moving right along on those projects. Um, Western Star Trucks, we, we ordered two probably this time last year, I can't remember. Uh, one of them is going to be delivered to the shop tomorrow morning. Uh, and then we'll take that up to WA Jones to be upfitted. And then the other one probably isn't too far behind. I don't know. Uh, but at least we're getting one of them. Were those tan tans or singles? I forget. They're single axles this time around. Okay. Uh, we're basically trying to keep the fleet about half and half mm -hmm. because there's applications where we need single axles. What trucks are them replacing? Um, I believe 44, 24, I think. Okay. Um, it's no biggie. I just don't, was don't hold me to it. Okay. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. The old Mac. Yeah, it might be. No, 22 was last time. We've already mm -hmm. replaced it. But yes. Couple, uh, one of the old Max and uh, an international. Sounds good. So, um, I did have a request from the town of Kiwana. Uh, each year they borrow the rubber tire roller that we use from Chip Seal for their garden tractor pole to roll down their track in between the poles. We've run it for years, but ask your permission to oh, yeah. let them use that. Um, I have an employee request. I have an employee who's asking for 30 days. He's out of FMLA. He's had some other issues this year. He used his time up, but he needs 30 days without pay. Did you run that through Christina Haas? Yes. Okay. This is what she's told okay. me to come and do. Okay. I'd entertain a motion to approve John's re per, uh, employee request for 30 day non paid FMLA. So, so moved. A second. All in favor? Motion carries. Three. You got it. Okay. And then the, the last thing I have, I have, I sent you two proposals. Uh, one from RQAW, which Scott Clay is here tonight, uh, represent his proposal. And the other one was from USI. Uh, they're both for bridges 170 and 94. And what I'd like to do is probably uh, go after 170 and uh, put it on a federal aid call comes out later this year. So you want to do, just do the one? Uh, yes, is what I'm kind of after. If you want to approve both, but I, 
I'm not going to engage the second one at this time. Uh, but I want to go after one for this call. Uh, of course, that'd be five years out. The, the actual call would be, but we got it. We need an engineering study for the application. Okay. So um, I don't know if you guys had time to look over both proposals. Yeah. Um, where, where was that map road number twice? Uh, one seventy. The one that I'm wanting to go after is County Road One Thousand West, uh, between Five Fifty South and Four Hundred South, over the Mill Creek. And then 94 is on 250 east, uh, south of uh, 650 south, right there around Naoma Lake. Oh, oh yes, yes. Basically yes. south of where the trees were. Okay, right. but you want to do this 170 is the one you're worried about. It's the worst one. Um, okay. We're hoping it makes it to five years. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. It and should, the, but. That's, the quotes was, uh, refrag, I'm not going to bring my. You've had a quote from our QAW, uh, 9,500 for each bridge and then USI was uh, at 7500 for each bridge and basically their quotes were the same they're basically apples to apples anything Scott wants to anything you want to say Scott <clears throat> um, well we had uh, made a proposal for both bridges uh, I communicated with John and he had mentioned that you might not want to pay for it till next year. Um, we will do the billing in on December 15th, so he can decide if he's got extra money for this year um, or if he wants to pay for it next year. Uh, that would be an option. Um, I know the call is coming up in December, so we just want to get working on it as soon as possible. So, yep. Any questions for Scott? No. Thank you. Oh, quite a little spread. The, uh, I know the last time we had we had uh, <clears throat> we had a consultant here and one that wasn't for the other one. We went with the consultant that we had here. Do we want to do that tonight? Does, 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 I'm going to ask John, does that matter on deferring the money? Is that, a, is that an issue yeah, for you? Whoever we'd have to go with, we're probably going to have to do that. And is that an appropriate more money in? So that would be a benefit. Spreading it over into the next year's budget. It's kind of hard. I mean, yeah. USI's done a great job for us past two. It's two thousand dollars. Right. Yep. And I'm sure that if we approved maybe one today, uh, I could probably talk to my office about trying to drop the price on the second one yeah. uh, to make up for it. So if that helps. For this, I guess Scott's here. And I know we had another one that was about $1,000 difference, and we went the other way. Uh, I'll, make a, I'll make a motion that we give this one to our QAW. Yeah. Do you want to second it? Yeah, I'll second it. Yeah. And just, we'll be careful of pressing it here on the big spreads on good companies. Right. I'm all in favor. And motion to carry Sabrina. I think I need a signature. Is that just on the one bridge? Or yeah, one yeah, bridge. Just one. That would be this one here. Right. See how they do for us? And go from mm -hmm. there on the next yeah. one. Yep. It's nice to get some. I want to hold off on the second one until next Perfect. call. Yep. Thank you. I think we have a better chance than 
we discussed this too, going after the one because it's worse. If we put the other one in, we might reject it. But because the ones isn't as bad. <clears throat> I think our odds are better going after the worst one. Just you? Yeah. I think that's everything I have for you tonight, unless you have questions. Thanks, sir. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. Right. Um, Jared, Porter. How are you this evening? I'm all right. Are you guys doing you know, okay, too? Yep. Yep. It's nice to be here. The sun was pretty today. Yeah. Just to let you know um, our latest statistics uh, for Fulton County, um, effective today we've had 111 deaths total in the county. Um, of that, 61 females have passed away and 50 males. Um, of that, 41 coroner's calls. So there's been 18 females and 23 females. It's kind of ironic or very different that their corner calls are dominated by the males but there's actually been 10 more females or 11 more females that have passed away this calendar year so far which I know that can change we got a three months left but we are down with our deaths for this year which is a great thing um, our coroner's office is investigating 36 percent of all the deaths that occur in Fulton County so that's a little over a third. Um, we've got three autopsies we're waiting on results. Um, most of our deaths are natural, but we have had eight accidents, three of those being falls that are very dangerous. We've had a couple overdoses, and then we've had three motor vehicle accidents, and one of those motor vehicle accidents actually fell back to influence of a heavy use of drugs. So, um, so anyway, altogether eight accidents. Uh, we've had five suicides, a homicide, and for our procedures then, uh, we've conducted three labs out of Woodlawn Hospital. We've done draws for 12 toxicologies that go to um, the National Office down Access in Indianapolis. And so total with our autopsies and then the ones we've drawn and conducted, there's been uh, 24 toxicology draws for this year out of our um, 41 deaths. Um, we've had 12 autopsies, but we've actually paid for one extra because one was carried over from the middle of summer 2023 that occurred in another county. Um, I'm all excited. Uh, a week from Friday, we have our coroner's training board meeting in Indianapolis. We're going to review and go over um, our uh, conferences that we had back in June. Uh, we're going to troubleshoot. We're going to make things even better. Um, we're improving every year, and we, every year we get more people coming. And we are still number two in the United States with the number of attendees. Colorado, I think, is the only state that's ahead of us. So we're real proud of that. Um, we like to keep things interesting and informative and very useful to everybody that's there. Um, we were uh, checked out by our environmentalist, Wyatt Dyson, um, a couple weeks ago, and we passed. Good. I'm going to let you know that. Nice. So that was good. Um, we checked all of our draining systems and sinks and all that kind of stuff. So we uh, did pass that. Um, LEPC, we're going to do a modified in-person scene uh, study, and that's going to be happening on October 26th. We're excited about that. It'll be ha held down in Wayne Township uh, near the fire station there, and the cows aren't far away either, so I thought <laughs> I'd let you know that. But um, this is one thing that helps us to get money brought back into the county for other emergencies and things like that. So. Uh, we've had very successful tabletops. We're taking another step to make it more in person and then we'll have a full uh, exercise probably the following year. But we're excited to do that. We're working on that intensely. Uh, Indiana Department of Health is coming out with their mini grants soon. I've been chomping at the bit. Usually we, those come out usually in May or June, but they've kind of held back on them and they said 
September, so we are in September now, but I haven't heard anything yet, but I'm going to be ready to get those written and completed so we can uh, get some things back here for our county and supplies and things that we uh, would like to have. Um, let me see. Oh, also, uh, the Huana Fall Festival is coming up. We're going to be in the parade, and this is the last parade of the year, so we've been honored to be in all of them so far and you know buzzing around showing off our vehicle and honored to be there to help people hopefully it makes them feel more comfortable if they see us driving around sometime but anyway um, we'll look forward to going to Kiwana small town with the big heart so oh and one other thing we had we had a, a fire meeting a week ago um, over at Kiwana and a delicious Italian spaghetti meal. It was delightful. But anyway, uh, we always have things like that where we can have learning and all the firemen from all over the county come from every department. So it's a great time of learning and uh, a time for activity and things like that. So that's it, but we're vibrant, we're on the move and uh, still enjoying everything to try to help everybody as much as we can. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Travis, sure. I don't have a whole lot. Uh, I did email out the reports last week. Any questions on those or anything? Appreciate it. Animal control or collections, nothing? Good. Okay. Should see a transfer request that Jody put in last week for us. Um, coming through today, so. Copy that if you got any questions on it. There was some pretty big transfers. Is that a mistake in the budget or probably? I, I did the budget, so yeah, it probably was a mistake. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's my only question. Yeah. I did. Yep, it probably was. <laughs> that's no problem. So, I do know, like with, with Larry, he retired, and when he re when he retired out, we had to pay out all his vacation time. So oh, that so came that, out okay. that, that we came out of that. So how they pay a couple of yeah, so I just, like yeah. Okay, and I'm sure some of it's my mistakes as well. But yeah, so, so between all of it, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, 133 inmates uh, this morning, 46 Grant County, 32 Howard County, five Federals. We invoiced for a little over $126,000 last year or last month for holding out of county inmates. Um, the Durangos we've talked about, it seems like that's a broken record coming in here, but we did pick one up from Grissom today, Grissom Dodge, that they'd had since early July. Um, they got it fixed and we dropped another one off with the exact same issue so um, hopefully they get that taken care of we do have our annual jail inspection tomorrow um, kind of piggyback off what jerry said we had the health department out there doing inspections we had the fire marshal last week doing inspections so um, but then we've got our annual jail inspection tomorrow so it'll be at nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow um, with that they go through and do a physical inspection and then check budgets and dietary requirements things like this just the whole i said through them one, one of them it's pretty rough it's absolutely yeah i couldn't stack a paper yeah yeah but yeah. we have to have all that kathy does a great job getting all that stuff around but i mean they even have to have as far as even um rodent contracts and insect contracts yeah. you know for for the arrow i mean just everything that you have house play match and has to be has to be there but um, you know when you get that good inspection though it helps us out in the long run with litigation mm -hmm. things like yeah. that we can sit back and say hey look you know we're, yeah. we're doing what we're told to Both be doing so, yeah. exactly so we'll get everything hidden that, uh, that uh, Chad has around and from the special tomorrow. And <laughs> we'll, we'll pass it, so. But that, I do know that the maintenance building is moving, so they're supposed to start. I think I think we're supposed to start last week, so I think any time we'll be breaking ground. Good deal. So that's good. I'm pretty excited about that. So mm -hmm. thank you, thank you guys. Yep. So I know you had a big loss today. So yes, does your thank department you. need anything from mm -hmm. us? I'm sure we're mm -hmm. here. We, we appreciate that. It's here to help you out any way we can. Yeah, so. we appreciate that. Uh, Auditor's office, been, everybody's been great, um, and it is huge use to fill. So no, we're right. gonna we're gonna really screw things up for a while and, and try to try to muddle through. How many years has she been? She's been with us for ten years ish. Um, she hired in with Chris. I think his first year, and then I'm two years in. So she was she was right at that nine ten mark. So. Okay. Yeah. But our thoughts and prayers are with, with Brody and the family. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We are down to travel requests. You guys saw look those over. Yeah. Questions? Okay, we'll sign nope, those. I didn't have any. Okay, I don't have any minutes here. Do you have um, the financials? You guys have any questions, concerns over any of the financials? I didn't see them. Okay, we've got one here. With the question mark we approve it on 9-3, so we'll just reapprove it as the <coughs> utilities. Um, 
Uh, we'll have utilities here. Oops, sir. Wheel surtax $47,140.76. We have a claim docket for the uh, 8953 grant overpayment refund to the Indiana Department of Health at $956.46. Those ones, we, yeah, that sounds familiar now. I did that, but we have. Yeah. Um, it does. Okay, we have the insurance claim docket for 815 to 821 for the disbursement of $131,087.87. <coughs> we have the Insurance disbursement for 822 to 828 of $13,981.60. Payroll claim docket for 96 of $280,553.83 with $99,558.20 with the deduction. <clears throat> Insurance claim. Docket for September fees of $51,645.82. We have insurance disbursement for $829 to $94 of Miscellaneous claims for 916 of $875.52. Ah, shit. All right. Okay. We have utilities, $10,570.94. Council on Aging, 5311 grant reimbursement of $79,629. $79,629. We have the lit distribution, $743,615.18. The riverboat distribution is seventy-five thousand two dollars and fifty-six cents. <clears throat> we got the riverboat. You didn't know that? No, we should be making some good tax money on that. We got a mouse to mouse, but well, seventy-five thousand. Spread it out, but yeah, something. You're gonna have to dredge the tippy so that it can float through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dock at some place there. Getting low way out there right now. Okay, we have a transfer request from Network uh, Administration, um, fifteen thousand from IT infrastructure to computer equipment to cover a negative balance. It says we have public safety. Uh, the sheriff twenty-seven thousand. Well, let's see. What's the total? Forty. What's that? Forty-something thousand on that one. Yeah, forty yeah, forty-seven thousand and fifty-five dollars and eleven cents from extra help and insurance to deputy holiday compensation and sergeant. The one that you just yeah. talked about yeah. too. Mm -hmm. We have one uh, from the jail for eighty-five thousand on health insurance, same thing, part-time and holiday compensation. Mm -hmm. Going from the coroner for eight thousand and fifty dollars. From transportation to a uh, deputy coroner, cleaning and transportation services performed by the deputy coroners. And we have 
have an additional per we have an appropriation request from the highway department for thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars for the repair uh, repair building and equipment for the highway shop installation and siding. And we have a sixty-nine thousand dollar appropriation from the highway department for the new metal roof and repairs on the Kiwana salt shed. Do you have any old business? Um, yeah, I'll bring something up. Uh, Rochester High School, well, Rochester Schools, Dana Vance asked me to be an, ambas an ambassador program with them this year, so I accepted it. Um, that starts Thursday. There'll be like uh, two hour classes, what, five or six of them a year, I think, for the yes. year. Yeah, we'll talk about budgeting of schools and how the school actually works. So if somebody asks what's going on in schools, I can report back to you guys and tell you. So that's a different animal. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So yes, it is. That's it for me. Okay. Thank you for doing it, Eric. Yeah. Dave. Uh, nothing old, no. Alex, any orders? You know anything? Old business, anybody? New business, sir. Right? Don't think so. Dave. Hey. Uh, yeah. We've had. Some discussions going on. Uh, we got a lot of keys floating around that we really don't know where and who's got what for the 911 office and in dispatch area. And would like to see a rekey job, new keys set to put out there and use. Okay. I think that was one of Barry's suggestions. Yeah, it was. So we can get a chat, I guess, and having. Okay, who, are, who does your, does Bob's lock and key do your? All of our keys are accounted for. I'm not real sure where that's coming from. They were all signed out by Chris, and they've all, from the transition that you guys have had here, they've all been accounted for. So you see how the county of every key. Oh, absolutely, and, yeah. And everybody who currently has yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's supposed to be one, HR, HR is supposed to have them, and distribute them, and then we're supposed to have a key for that area. Okay. And we were looking for keys and couldn't find and didn't know. I don't know what keys you're missing because uh, when that building was done, everything was was issued by Chris. We got everybody signed out, every key, and like I said, through your guys' transition with everything here in the last three months, everything's accounted for. So, so you'd have a list for Brittany and who else? Oh, absolutely. Who yeah. has the yeah. keys and where they're at? Yeah, it'd be nice to get that to yeah. each other and yeah, and Chris, just yeah. see who has keys. Yeah, Christine and I talked about that. I told her I'd get her a list. Okay, of that. okay, yeah, okay. That's okay. Right. Accounted for, so. as, long, as long as she knows who's yeah. got a key, that's oh, all. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Okay, I don't know where that came yeah. from. I, don't either. I think guys, if we had a key down here at HR, that way if we had a situation we needed to get into, we don't have to chase that somebody we, down. Yeah, we can get in. Yeah, and I'll talk to you afterwards, but we probably do like a master key or something okay. for, for access for that. But yeah. Be cool. okay. Okay. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Anything else, Dave? No, that was it. New business for anybody? Okay, public comment? You already said your piece. <laughs> okay, entertain a motion to recess the. So move. Second. All in favor? Motion carries 3 0. Thank you, everybody. We'll keep Jody, her friend, her family, and her first.